we get a lot of questions on do I need a permit from the citizens? Most of the time it's going to be yes. Anytime a renovation, uh, new construction, uh, renovating homes, change of use, pools, hot tubs, decks, porches, prefab and metal buildings. Anything over 12 foot in length, width or height by the state of North Carolina you're required to have a permit. So please contact us when you're ready for your process of uh, building your home or any kind of structure on your property and we will walk you through there. Most of the time you will have to go through your zoning to get a zoning approval first. So reach out to your local township or the Surrey County Planning to start your process there. Then you'll move over to uh, environmental health for their approval in case you need to have septic and water out for your property. But again, reach out to uh, Central Permitting 336-401-8300 to start the process and we will walk you through what you need for a permit. Uh, there's several things that uh, are going to be required. One thing we do not require a permit for is a residential fencing. Now your zoning may require a permit, but that's again you reach out to your local townships. The requirements for your residential permits that you will need to turn in to receive it is a building permit application. You will first start off with that. Depending on the size of your property, there may be an NC North Carolina lien that may be required. Plans for your house or plans for any of your projects need to be turned in. If you're building your own home, you will have to fill out a homeowner's affidavit, which will go to the state. And that affidavit is basically saying that you, you and your family plan to live in this home for the next 12, uh, 12 months. And after that, you know, you're, you're released from your affidavit. In that time, you cannot sell or rent that space out. You and your family must live in that home to be at that owner affidavit. Subcontractors, we require subcontractors to be on our list and their addresses, phone numbers, because we reach out to them to confirm that they are on this permit. This protects these subcontractors from having their license being used without their knowledge. We also need to know the cost of the construction, a copy of a signed contract if there is one, name of your power company. We have two power companies in Surrey County, so if you could tell us where you are and who you're using, that helps us out tremendously. Again, you must go through environmental health to get your construction authorization. Uh, we also need a map for your building setbacks. We'll zoom in over your property and you must draw in where your building's gonna be and try to get the scale to make sure you're in your proper setbacks. And again, you must get your city and zoning approval uh, from where you're building. Again, that's for your residential permits. Another piece of misinformation is uh, general contractors. If you, it's your own home and you're gonna live in it for the next 12 months, you can be your own contractor. But if you're buy, sell, lease, or renting it to someone, you must have a general contractor on that permit. You cannot be your own contractor if you own a property. Again, this is to protect the people and the public that are renting and selling and buying your property. Uh, we've got to make sure they're buying uh, a building that's up to code. And again, a general contractor must be involved if it's for sale, lease, or rent. If you have any questions or concerns about your process, please contact Surrey County Central Permitting at 336-401-8300 and they will help you in your process. Thank you.